four elemental Empyreans are the beings that maintain the balance and harmony between Earth, water, wind, and fire. Have you even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Not really. I don't much care. They sleep because of arrogant, insolent wretches like you. The Empyreans derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Empyreans drifted into slumber. Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malachim. Are you trying to say Enominat blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Empyrean, Enominat's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Empyreans can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes, civilization will crumble. The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. Thus, the Abbey will control Illuminat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era. It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Illuminat. And, in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot exist without darkness, no great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! No, you don't! Aizen, stop! I told you, he's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. Rebellious fools, you fallen so far, Magilonica. I'm Magilonica no longer! I am the evil witch, Magilu! For my cutthroat! Shatter the spirit! to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? 
Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it bought me enough time to finish my art. Are you trying to set off the volcano? You'll die too! As long as I take the Lord of Calamity with me, I have no regrets. That's because... I follow reason! Emotions are a real pain, aren't they? What was that? The elemental Empyreans have awoken. We are free. We will no longer be your tools. Oh dear, what's happening? You saved us, Mogulu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs. Nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. I take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. That's all there was to it. 
I suppose even a legate can never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Had the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Eleanor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah! Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Velvet. I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We could certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Helleviz, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Helleviz as a Class Four administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercio? Everyone got out safe and sound, although they did petition for the extermination of the Lord of Calamity. Of course. I say we make this town our new hideout! Wh That's a good idea. We should leave Kamoana and the others here. Dial, could you stay and help them out? <laughs> As if you even had to ask. Well, that's surprisingly reliable for you, Dial. Hey, that hurts! Now get going already! Benwick and the crew are making preparations-
Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes, but that still leaves Inominat and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple? It's a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. A fortune apple. Hmm. <laughs> but we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, oh, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. My power to consume is a part of Inominat. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way. That's a good luck charm. That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So, where's our final destination? The Empyrean's throne. Sail for Port Zexon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Aye, aye, sir. So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Where's Lafayette? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Luffy always yearned to travel. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy said. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No. Theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait. You don't mean... Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. 
We have a fight to finish with the Shepherd. Okay. Well, it's nice that we've tracked down Inominat, but uh, now what's the plan? I don't think even Griffin could get us up there. And my Guardian takes one passenger only. I don't think we need to worry about that. Huh? Well, looky there. A teleportation art. Looks like we are expected. For Inominat to fully awaken. They need me and Lafisat. Which means they want to settle this once and for all, too. Sounds good to me! Bring it on! Is what reckless idiots say before plunging into the unknown. Be more cautious. S sorry Wow. That is the first time I've ever heard Magilu say something sensible. A bad omen. Let's be careful, and take a good look around first. Belittling a faithful ally right before the final showdown? Do you not cry? If I prick you, do you not bleed? Thank <laughs> you. 